In this video, I'll just briefly talk about modifying data. Um, so, in this is in true, I think this is true of Blender and the current version of Blender. We'll see. If you um, click on some buttons, some buttons have some data in them. Let me zoom up on this. You see that's a that's got some data in it. You can adjust it with a middle class on the data and that will adjust it. If you click on the right side of the button that will uh, bring up the data by some increment. And if you do it on the left side it will bring down that data by some increment. If you want a specific value of that data you shift select the button and then you could go in with the keyboard and modify it directly and so that's how you manage buttons and in the newer version of blender if you hit i on these buttons you can keyframe that data and so i go to this new version of blender i select the data that i want to modify and then i look for the transform data and that's just the mesh data the transform is probably this Let's see. Let's see if it's there's no it, it doesn't show it in here it'll probably show it on material something on material buttons and you see this uh, energy here level I can bring the energy of that whatever that was that I selected that was, it makes more sense for the lights let's see if there's any lights uh, let me see Oh, oh, I think there was lights in the scene, but I don't see them. It's probably layer. That's yeah. I don't know. There should be lights in the in the view. Let's see if I go back to this. The other view. It's not only hit Z. It's not showing the lights for some reason. Or if there, there probably is no lights anymore. Yeah, it doesn't show it in the data view, so you have to create some lights. Um, that is Shift A. Yeah. So add a lamp. Spotlight. Rotate it. Grab it. Move it over here. Then you can um, go to the, I think this thing right here will pop out. And that's your, that information. And I can sit here and select that and then hit I, or whoops, you have to do it out of the edit mode. Um, you select that, you don't, you, you hover over it and you hit I. And that sets up a keyframe for the location rotation, or just the location. And if I go to the graph editor, you see that it has set up um, a keyframe on the current frame for just the what it looks like to be the is this the Z data? If I edit that. That's Y location, this is Z location. And I'm, okay, now I'm starting to fall asleep. Okay, um, so there, yeah, that's how you set up keyframe on data. I could set up keyframe on this energy data. And so now I'm, I've got the energy data also That'll adjust the uh, energy data. And when I move to a different keyframe, 
which I'm looking for the number that adjusts the keyframe. Oh, um, where is key, the key data? I mean, the, the keyframe. Oh, man, I forgot. On here, um, to adjust the frame, it's pretty simple. It's this button over here. And I can go to a specific frame if I shift into there and I hit 95, for instance. It will go to the 95th frame. And um, if I go ahead and scale this data and set the keyframe, location, location, style, uh, it doesn't modify the um, entire data. It only modifies that at that specific point. So, split the area, look at the curves, see what they're doing. And you can see that um, there is some extra data in there, some extra transforms. And so it's doing this, and then it's doing that. The, so I'm, in this video, I was really just talking about being able to modify the the data inside of some of these, you know, some of this this information, and you can't keyframe it in here. But in the newer version of Blender, anything that's got a number attribute can be keyframed. I think you can keyframe the selecting of buttons too. So you keyframe the layers. I think you can you can keyframe material properties in the current version of Blender, but in this old version, it doesn't let you do that. This is another way of adjusting your orthogonal views. That's camera view. This is ortho. Um, this is orthogonal view. Mm -hmm. So now I'm falling asleep. I think that's I think that's all I'm going to cover in that thing. And, I'm going to get some caffeine in me so I can do the rest of this, do more of this tutorials, and I'll call it, cover some other stuff. Okay.